Welcome back to SteamWorld Dig 2! And, uh, you were mentioning... You were mentioning Motherload, Joshua. I don't think I've ever played Mo Motherload. So now I have a level 2... Lamp. Which is apparently more economic, so... We'll see how that goes. I feel like I need to light up all these torches. And I, I kind of wish that I could refuel myself at torches. This map is not the same as the top map. This map does not say where I, where I have dug. Whereas the top map does. Um, that's and that seems like an oversight. That doesn't seem like uh, that it was an actual design choice. It was either an oversight or m maybe there was a uh, technical reason, but I don't understand what technical reason that can be. Bedrock Passage. It's pretty basic, you just drill down deeper and deeper to get gems and buy upgrades. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, thus far, it's it's similar to this, I guess. Although, this has upgrades and, uh, I mean, there's a little bit of Metroidvania. Just a, just a tad. You have to attack from the right the correct area oh from the the weak point i guess awesome okay there were authorized reopening of these tubes Burster's Mining Station. Alright. That's a weird place to put it. I like the, uh, the stamp. The stamp with the, uh... The little shake. Like, that's the kind of small detail that really does a lot for a game. Um, one classic video for game devs is um, The Art of Screen Shake by uh, Ishmael something. I'm sorry, Ishmael, I don't remember your last name. Oh no. Oh no. I can't I can't reach it now. Well that sucks. I I I'm, I'm missing out on all of these gems. That makes me sad. Also, I just realized that this is called Trashium. The, uh, the level 1 stuff is called Trashium. No. Okay, why not? Burster Station.
What? What happened? Oh, I'm inside. I got super confused. The map doesn't change when you're inside places. Okay. And you can exit to... You can exit to... Um... Reset the level if you uh, destroyed it in the wrong way. Hey, upgrade! This is a dungeon, yeah. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of distinction between the two. Pressure bomb! Do I have Okay? So I have two, and I guess I need I need to find more to uh, well I need to kill enemies probably. It does go poof. Yeah, that that is that is not a boom. All right, so killing enemies recharge my my poof a little bit. Ah. Okay. Well, that's why it's not exploding very strongly. It's water explosives. Alright, Gel Mega, peace out. I'll talk to you later, man. So this sand does not explode from under, it just explodes from the side. Probably don't need an explosive for that one. I, I like that though, I like the fact that um, water uh, heals that. Um, I, I think it's really interesting that they made water something. They, they gave it a purpose. It's not just in the game because it's in the game. Yay, fire! Isn't this game fire represents your life? I feel like I'm supposed to go higher here, but I maybe I can't right now. Maybe when I get a double jump or something. Like, double jumps are, are really the most video gamey things, aren't they? Okay. It really feels weird that that, um... that uh, thing reappears without an effect. Like, it feels unfinished. Thought there might be something. Decided to go through it again. You're a steam bot? Well, sure, but I'm... Um, 
I mean, I don't know how the explosives are generated. Ah! Well, that... So now I have almost no light remaining. Need light. Ooh, the music changes when you need light. I know, I know. Probably with Steam, <laughs> dynamic audio, it's almost like sound is important. <laughs> At the very least, it's, it's noticeable. I know, I know. Okay, so I have money. And I can upgrade my armor now. Oh, I see. So my my uh, my pressure bombs are one of the th my meter is basically going to be used for various. I should have guessed that that it's going to be used for various um, things. It was kind of obvious. So it's gonna tell me that I can improve with cogs and it's kind of I understand. I, I'm. I wonder if... Yeah, there you go. So, always... Always use cogs. Because you can reassign them. The Gaze of Odin! What does the Gaze of Odin do? Displays your enemy's health once you've damaged them. Alright. Um, you know, a lot of people kind of really... They, they, they have trouble functioning without knowing their enemy's health. I mean... I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> okay, let's dig. Oh, okay, wow. This is a lot more powerful. This makes a big difference, actually. Interesting. It it makes a big difference, but I can't attack the uh, those enemies. Uh, I mean, I uh, I can't. I don't deal more damage to those enemies. I upgraded my lamp, but, but I, it doesn't feel that much more powerful.
Not enough space. That didn't take long. Trying to figure out what this does. I think it's gonna make that rock drop, so I, I need to, to do this. There we go. Unsurprisingly, it was a trap. pretty cool these runaway sequences they you know that's the kind of thing where okay I'm doing I'm doing a game about digging and about you know more or less archaeology but our game what what do archaeologists do well they run away from traps from breaking and falling traps no oh. In the pickaxe of destiny, yeah, basically. I love getting ah. Uh... So I have absolutely no way of knowing where the next furnace is, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, I know. Well, I can probably do this, right? Yeah. Is there a furnace close? Not, not a furnace, but a, uh, a teleporter. There's a gift! I want a gift! <gasps> there is! So now I get to go back up just to get all of the stuff that I could not uh, acquire. Um, lamp, backpack. I like the fact that these are not upgradable, so they put them at the end of the list. Maybe they are later on, but uh, at least for now, you can kind of immediately see the stuff that you can upgrade. Um, sure.
Do I have two? I have two cogs. And I don't have to upgrade linearly, I can just choose whatever I want, which is nice. By the way, it was written, makes you lose less resources, it should be fewer resources. When did I become such a stickler for that kind of stuff? No! I found Schrodinger's what? So I I was thinking that maybe I was going to uh, to play until this is a single world. How big is this? This is pretty big. This is a pretty big map. It's still going. Um, I was thinking I was going to play until I found Rusty, but Rusty may only be found at the end of the game. I I have no idea. So I may not be able to do that. Okay. Oh, that's weird look at that it's set on a parallax that that entrance is set on a parallax background it looks so weird I don't think this is what I was supposed to do. And I lost one of my grenades, so that's not what I'm... Okay. That didn't work. Oh, and that didn't have to work. Um, It is stressful. Uh, these these trap areas are are pretty stressful, I have to say. I don't know if I'm coming coming across as clenching, but I am. There's still something to discover here. Also, I don't know why I'm not. I, I wish I was recharging my. Uh, my fire here. Oh, I see. Because of this, I, I still need to... 
I don't know how to do that one. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I don't need to find every single secret. That will take a little bit more time than uh, I really have. I don't know why, but l grabbing ladders is not as easy as it should be. Uh, like, you, you need to be on a very specific place to grab the ladder, or sometimes it, sometimes it just refuses to do so. Oops. Like this, here, I... When I jump, I don't grab the ladder, but then if I... I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And, um... I'm pretty sure I'm well aligned in both cases. It's interesting that um, this map is one map. It's it's an entire environment, but there's actually cuts within the the game itself uh, for loading or something. Upgrade. So. This is this is fun, but um, and I and I would I would play uh, a lot more of this. I, I I might I might end up playing more than, than I should, especially since there's there's a lot of exploration stuff. Um, the path of my heart is stuff to discover. do one more of this. I'm gonna do one more episode uh, of SteamWorld Dig, so stick around. We're going back into the caves. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check out some games I've made, like Arrow Light Core. Alright, until next time, peace out!